Welcome back to another episode of Grizzly True Crime. My name is Gizzela Kay, and this is just a really quick video where I've put together all the clips from that WTOC interview that Leilani Simon and her mother Billy Joe did. Yesterday we went over all the interviews and there were some clips that we couldn't find or they were missing. Thank you so, so much to everyone who emailed me and sent me those links directly to those clips. It was actually on WTOC's website and not on YouTube. So now we've got them all. And what I've done is just put them all together so that you can view it right here all in one place and that's about it let's continue to raise awareness for quentin simon i really hope that they are able to find him this week by there i mean the fbi they're busy searching the landfill which is just always still horrible to say but i really hope that there will be justice for quentin soon please could you uh like this video and share it not because you like the content but you like the way i present true crime and because we need to keep quentin simon's name in the spotlight so to help do that and keep it all relevant in the algorithm please take those free actions like share and if you haven't yet subscribed please do that as well welcome to grizzly true crime you are welcome in this community so i will see you again very soon i just wanted to follow up on what i said yesterday if i did find all these clips i would put it all together for you so here it is thank you so much I need everybody to help everybody that knows anything anybody <laughs> Right, just a baby. Quinn's grandparents say the boy's mother's story does not make sense. She, she's lied to us so many times. And I don't know, it, it's just bad to say, but she just likes to lie. Please they're like, whatever, Leilani's story doesn't add up. Well, I've been talking with the baby's father, with Quentin's father. I've been talking with him all day yesterday. And um, he's already been questioned and They've already went to his job and went to um, his home, and Quentin's not there, which is, I didn't think he would be anyway. Why Leilani would even come up with a story like that, I don't even know. And that's your daughter? Yes. That's his mom? Yes. Good. My kids woke up to me screaming, where's Quentin? And running through the house. I ran and looked everywhere, inside, outside, just started screaming for help. I'm here, I've been here every day since this. I am not running and I'm not hiding. And if something does come up that I am at fault, I will take myself to that police station. And I will walk with her. All we want is justice for Quentin Simon. That's it. We want justice for Quentin. At we whatever cost it is. We don't care the cost. We want answers just like everybody else does. At the end of it all, we love you, baby Q. My little monkey, and we want him home. We're in, limbo. We're in limbo just like everybody else is. We're sitting here every day waiting for answers. Being in this house is hard. My mother and I can't even stay inside throughout the day. We always are outside because there's just so many memories that we don't know if we're going to have again. You wake up every day angry, hoping that you're going to get a phone call, and that phone call just doesn't come. Hard to even process what's going on around us. If we get to the point that we have to barricade our own home in order to feel safe in our backyard. Because <laughs> we can't even process what's happening everywhere else, or even have the time to do so. I can't even walk out and appreciate my own son's memorial, or put down the gifts that I got for him. I can't even go out there and do that without harassment and negligence and just everything. It's just it's devastating to see that this is how the outside world reacts. Every day that goes by is less tears and more anger, not knowing what's happening, if that's even understandable. You wake up every day angry, hoping that you're going to get a phone call, and that phone call just doesn't come. We want something great to come out of this but mostly we want him not to be found in that landfill we want him found happy and alive we want him back in our arms holding us this is what we want we're just hoping that he's in somebody's house and they're feeding him and they are hoping that you know maybe they wanted a baby or couldn't have a baby maybe they thought they were his savior but it's not that's their hope, best hopes at this point. 